In our previous tutorial, that is bus off part 1, we have given the introduction about the bus off. And in this, we will come across how the bus off error occurs. The bus off error occurs under these three conditions. Number 1, shorting the can lines. Number 2, ignoring the complete node. Number 3, making error counters to reach minimum threshold for the bus off condition. Let's see one by one how it works. Here, before that, if you want to watch all our video tutorials in order, please visit https this edusev.company and you can find the tab called free tutorials. Before that, you have to sign up with this uh, with your email so that you can access these. So we'll get back to the tutorial. Here, the shorting the can lines. Shorting the can lines also can be possible in the below three ways. One is short the can high to can low. Actually, we have you know the can have two wires. So if you just short the two wires, then it will make buzz off. Then short the can lines to the battery and short can lines to the ground. Let's see short the can high to can low. So here we have the can. Uh, this is the protocol, the wire, the two wire. So we have uh, see here. This is the this two wire or the can protocol. There is a wire. So if we short these two wires, then the bus off condition will occur. Then short can high to can low. So this is just a pictorial representation, and here we'll have the quick notes. We know the can has two lines that is high and low. If two lines get shorted, then the data transferring in both the lines start to overlap or collapse. So the data obviously there will be the data in these lines. So once you short, it will collapse or the data may corrupt. Then the CAN protocol standard is defined in the way to satisfy this condition. This shorting may happen in any circumstance such as aging or accidents or any damage by any source. When developing the software, the developer should implement the software with obeying the CAN standards. That is, whenever the two, two lines has been shorted, then it should go buzz off. This is what the rule of the developer to uh, whenever developing the software. And testing the software in the system level is to ensure the software behaves as the standard uh, as, as per the development also whenever it's embedded with the hardware. So, and the next one is shorting CAN to battery. So this is the CAN lines again. So we have a, a CAN high, CAN low. If we short with the battery, then also the bus off will occur. So here we have the again the quick notes. So we have as per the standard. So the standard only defines to make the can high to low. If if it's shorter, then it should go bus off. So again, these also have the same reason uh, like aging or accidents or even damage. And in this also, the tester as well as the developer uh, task is to complete the standards, completes the software as per the standard. Then. Here the shorting the can standard can line to the ground. So if you short again, it will go buzz off. So these are all the three conditions that will make uh, the can to go buzz off. The can communication to go uh, to go buzz off in terms of the shorting. And next to we next to next to about we have uh, the another two stuff that is um, one second. So ignoring the complete node and making the error counters to reach a minimum threshold so these are all will be continued in the upcoming tutorials so this is just a quick note that you can easily understand these are all the three possible ways also these are all the uh, ways that uh, you can make it on uh, hardware level so other two see here these two can be make it in a software level and this can be in the hardware level so we'll continue with the other stuff in our upcoming tutorial until then yes just uh, watch it and learn it if you are not subscribed, subscribe to our channel. Catch you in next tutorial.